Hey, it's Quincy from Q Photo Lens, and today I'll be sharing how much I earned in the last 10 months, as well as how much I kind of earned in the first couple of years of being a full time photographer. Whether you're curious about getting into photography, or just want to do it as a hobby, or, or just try to see if it's worth it, I'm going to completely break down all my income and show you how I got here. I started with some really quick, simple free shoots. It was, it was very, very simple. Literally had asked a couple of friends to come over, some family members, and just did a couple of friends and family easy shoots. No charge. The gear I had was crazy simple. Um, I think I had a light stand that would blow over if I literally put it outside in the wind. Like It was very, very simple. The lights I was using, nothing crazy, but just the generic Nikon flashes that you put on top um, your your camera. And I was using those as my um, one point flash versus using a big Godox flash that I have right now. It was pretty, pretty easy going. There's a couple of sessions here, portrait sessions. And eventually I moved into more events and then large family shoots. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. I had to learn to market and how to market myself, build relationships, and find clients. That, that was the key. Making sure I was able to find those clients was massive in making the business really grow. And also making myself marketable, or in that sense, kind of making people say, you know what, I wanna do shoots with him. Let's look at the first five months. Slow at the start with a few hundred dollars here and there coming in from the smaller jobs, but I made it work. But by the third month, fourth month, I started bigger bookings and events. My income jumped significantly, easily from around, I would say, $1,000 to $2,500. It was, it was a reasonable jump. But the last five months is where it went crazy. This is when everything kind of popped off. The last five months were the, simply the game changers for 2021, where I kind of hit those high numbers, very consistently going three, four, five thousand dollars a month easily with no problems. Threw in a couple of small events there. My monthly income jumped from four thousand to easily seven thousand dollars throughout 2021. While learning my skills or learning my craft, I kind of also built my client base, which was amazing. So after my first year of total hard work editing myself, I tried to really become more of a business person. I racked in in total, and I know the numbers don't all show all the numbers I brought in. It showed like a, a very s simple sample of money that was coming in through one channel. Had a lot of cash, had a lot of e-transfers, came to about 80K that year. Um, and that became more and more throughout the years. It's been a wild journey. And to be honest with you, it's only now kind of tapering off. And I think now because one COVID season or COVID time is done, and people are kind of thinking about what they're spending, how they're spending. There's a lot more photographers since 2021, I believe. And I think, especially here in Canada, everybody has a camera and everybody's able to shoot. So it makes, makes the journey a lot, a lot different than it was when I think I first came out. Photography can definitely be sustainable and definitely profitable. Remember, I'm in the mindset that due to the fact that I actually have an actual full-time job, and when I say actual, I mean I have a full-time job that has benefits and everything. I have my own Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 job. I also have a part-time job on top of that that I do during the same week, Monday to Friday. Do two, day, two or three days a week. And then on top of that, I have photography where it fills all those gaps. So any gap I have where I have four hours that I can do some headshots, two hours I can do a house shoot, some real estate, a couple of hours where on the weekend where I can do a family portrait, sometimes even an event, I will juggle what I can to kind of fit those in. Networking and skill building are some of the main things you need to really, really lock into. Some quick tips, always deliver or over deliver in, and invest in your equipment. My favorite lens is the 7200 2.8. That bad boy cost me a pretty penny. But it was amazing. Got a ticket to South Africa um, on, on its first trip, brought it back home to Canada, and it was on my side 90% of the time in my bag. And when I start to really get into events, that has been my go-to lens going forward. And having to learn how to use it made, made me a better photographer. 
Also, you have to learn how to market yourself. If you're not marketing yourself, I don't know what you're doing. There's a lot of photographers out there that are great at their skill sets. They're really, really good at what they do, but they don't know how to market themselves to be the better version of themselves, to allow them to be able to get more customers coming in. And I find that whenever I have an opportunity to sit down with a client, especially sometimes older people, they just want to see who's going to be the person that's going to be shooting their event or shooting their family. They just want to see who you are and, and actually talk to you and see what you have to say. And I think my hospitality skills allows me to really um, dive into that a lot better. So the last 10 months, my first month was, was very, very slow. As you can see in the charts here, my first month, and this is, we're talking about now 2024, the year starts off slow. Canada's in kind of a, a down session. No one's really spending money. And it's, it's kind of it's kind of hard. Got a couple of good clients that are coming in. And once again, this is not all my money, my income channels coming in. This is just one channel that people pay through. Um, so I do have other monies coming in that kind of inflate these numbers a little more. Or don't they don't show on these on this paper here, but I'm probably making a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. And it's okay. It's, it's not as big as it was back in 2021, 2022, 2023. 2024 is probably the slowest year yet. Last year, I probably ended up with maybe 15 to 20,000 all said and done. Um, and that's a significant drop off from where I was back in 2021. But I also started working my full-time job again. I actually was actually working at work, like physically was actually there versus working online. So my time, the space of time I have driving back and forth, I don't have that uh, availability anymore. So if you see the numbers kind of creep up during the year, and then around August, it gets like a little bit slower again. This September and October, September kind of jumped a little bit. October is looking good so far. Um, I'm getting a few extra payments coming in through other channels as well. It's kind of helps things along. So always look at those things as well. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and drop any questions you have about photography, photography business, and let's have a conversation.